Time the late Reggie White honored for the game. His daughter Jacolia sang the national anthem. That's White's widow Sarah, his former coach with the Packers, Mike Holmgren, sharing a moment and doubtless several memories. And the Eagles retired White's number 92, and this would be about the only memorable moment of the night for Philadelphia. Matt Hassel back in the Seahawks looking for their eighth straight win. That would tie the franchise record set in 84. Opening drive, third and goal. Hassel back. You could fly from Seattle to Philly in the amount of time he had before he finds Bobby Ingram, 7-0 Seahawks. On the ensuing Eagles drive, Mike McMahon from the State University of New Jersey, known as Rutgers, picked off Andre Dyson going the other way. 72 yards, he houses it. It's a top play nominee. It is worth another peek. Dyson plays the route beautifully. Steps in, picks it, and he's headed the other way. 14-0 Seahawks after the first quarter. Second quarter, same score. The Visa Sky Camp play of the game. McMahon, well, at least his alma mater is going to a bowl game for the first time since 1978. Lofa Tatupu, fight on! 21-0 Seahawks. Seahawks have more return yards and interceptions than Philly had a total offense. Jaws didn't want any of this action. Coy Detford got some. And his first pass, tip taken away by Michael Bolware, who, unlike some previous ones, would not actually make it to the end zone. That just set up Mr. Touchdown himself, Alexander the Great. Sean Alexander, for the 21st time this season, leads leading rusher, goes into the end zone. 28-0 Seahawks, still in the first half. Hasselbeck wants more, and DJ Hackett will deliver. A tremendous grab. Deep in Eagles territory. Setting up once again, Alexander. Second touchdown of the game. Put the Seahawks up 35-0 at the half. That is tied for the worst halftime deficit in Eagles history. Third quarter didn't get any better for Philadelphia. The rookie from Louisiana Tech, Ryan Motes, puts it down. And there's Dyson again. Pushes the easy button. His second touchdown of the game, although Dyson did sprain his ankle and got carted off, did not return. And the fans wish they'd never showed up. 42 to nothing, the final. Seattle just annihilates Philadelphia, the 42-point margin, tied for the largest in Monday Night Football history. Dolphins beat the Jets 45-3 back in November of 86, but this was the largest shutout win ever on Monday night. Previous record held by the 87 Niners, who beat the Bears 41-0. Seahawks beat down to the Eagles, answered some questions emphatically, at least in Mike Holmgren's mind. This is Monday Night Football. I got a chance for our young guys to be on the national stage. I think we've been pretty much underneath the radar most of this season. Um, heck, coming into this game, I, I think there were still a lot of people who said, well, let's wait and see. You know, they, the young man missed the field goal against the Giants. There's always something. So I anticipated a, a, a knockdown, drag out type of game, which typically is the way it works. But it was just an unusual game. Was unusual. What's not unusual is seeing Sean Alexander find the end zone. His two touchdowns that you saw gave him 22 on the year. That's tied with Priest Holmes three years ago for the most all-time through the first 12 games of the season. Emmett Smith, OJ, and Jim Brown, the only other ones with 20 TDs through 12 games. And Alexander just six away from Priest Holmes' single-season record. That's offense. Steve and Sean Salisbury with a little defense.